The Department of Planning and Natural Resources and the VI government filed suit against St. Croix South Shore Industrial Companies who were responsible for the toxic red mud left behind after Illumina operations shut down. And although Hovensa and Hess Oil VI were not responsible for the toxic dust, they were named in the suit and charged with contaminating groundwater. In response, Hovensa and Hess Oil VI hired their own marine biology consultants to research and test the waters surrounding the South Shore near the refinery. Legal counsel for DPNR and the VI government have requested copies of the data and information produced by the marine specialists. According to the Daily News, District Court Judge Harvey Bardo III says the marine biologists were not designated as testifying experts. Therefore, their information is not discoverable or available to the other party, which in this instance is DPNR. Judge Bartle, in his opinion, went on to say that if Hovensa and Hess Oil do deem the two marine biologists as testifying experts, then that would change matters and those findings would have to be turned over to DPNR and the VI government. News 2 contacted legal counsel for Hovensa attorney Charles Gall, who told News 2 he's not in a position to comment on the recent ruling. Recently, the VI government and three of the Illumina defendants reached a partial settlement. Alcoa World Illumina and St. Croix Illumina are under a consent decree to clean up the red mud at no cost to the VI government. The current owner, St. Croix Renaissance Group, will have to maintain the site once the cleanup is complete. Erica Parsons, News 2.